Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use the Form Extensibility Framework to associate orchestrations and notifications with Enterprise One events from interactive applications. Calling the orchestrations from interactive applications by associating them with events enables you to extend your Enterprise One business logic without performing customizations. This allows a citizen developer to extend and augment the features and functionalities of the base JD Edwards Enterprise One application using the powerful capabilities of the orchestrator contextually in real time without customizations. To use this functionality, you must ensure that feature security is enabled for the form extension user defined object or you do. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how you can simplify the transportation sales order creation process by using an orchestration. I'll show you how to add new web buttons and then associate an orchestration and a notification with the events for the new buttons. The orchestration when invoked will create a new transportation sales order with the updated freight charges and a notification will be triggered when the new order is created. To meet our requirements, we have created an orchestration that we'll use to create the new order with the updated freight charges. Let's take a look at the outputs defined for this orchestration. As outputs, we have order number, currency, and so on. In the next few steps, I'm going to show you how you can associate this orchestration with the button click event for a new web button on the customer service inquiry form. Later, we'll see how the orchestration gets executed and the new order gets created with the freight charges when we click the new web button. We'll call the orchestration from the customer service inquiry form. Use the form extension icon to access the form extension manager side panel. We'll use this button to add a new web button on the form. Let's rename this button. We'll also add some new fields that we'll use later to map our orchestration outputs on this form. Next, we'll access the associate orchestrations wizard. This wizard contains a series of steps that you must complete in a sequential order. In the first step, we'll select the control in event we want to associate the orchestration with. Let's select the new button as the control. We'll associate the orchestration with the button clicked event. Use the next button to move to the next step in the wizard. Notice the check mark on the previous step. This indicates that the step has been completed. Let's select the orchestration. You can see two sections, one for notifications and another for orchestrations in this drop-down list. We'll use this step to define the mapping inputs for the orchestration. You can either define mapping inputs by clicking in the mapping input field and then selecting the control or enter default values. If you don't want any mapping inputs to be passed to the orchestration, you can enable this toggle button. For our tutorial, we'll use these default values. We'll enable the allow empty toggle button for the remaining inputs. Use this step to define how you want the orchestration to be executed. We want the orchestration to be executed before the event. So let's leave the execute before event option turned on. We also want the orchestration to run in the synchronous mode. Let's leave this option turned off. This indicates that the system will display any orchestration errors as in your face errors. Let's turn on this option so that we will know if an orchestration has been submitted or not. We'll move to the next step. We'll use this step to define the mapping outputs. Let's save this association. We'll save this form extension. Next, we'll see whether the orchestration is executed when we click the new web button we had added previously. You can see that the orchestration has been submitted. You may note that this message appears because we had enabled the show progress toggle button earlier. You can also see that the order has been created. You may recall that these are the fields that we had defined as the mapping outputs for our orchestration. This is the freight charges for our shipment. Next, we'll associate a notification with an event on this form. Let's add another web button which we'll use to trigger a notification. Let's rename this button. The steps to associate a notification are similar to the steps used to associate an orchestration. The only difference is that while we select an orchestration from the orchestrations list, 
we select a notification from the notifications list in the wizard. We'll associate the notification with this new button. We'll select the notification from the notifications list. Let's define the remaining parameters the same way we did for the orchestration. Because this is a notification, no output has been defined. Let's save this association. Let's save this form extension. On clicking this button, a notification should be triggered. You can see that I just received the notification through the bell icon. To summarize, you've seen how you can easily associate orchestrations and notifications with events on an Enterprise One form in real time without customizations using the form extensibility framework. Use these additional resources to learn more about the capabilities of form extensibility. For more information, visit us at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.